Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Laneside Reviews, and on this episode, we're going to be looking at Motive's new Tag Cannon. Alright guys, so welcome back. As always, I am the Bearded Beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And as we said, we're looking at Motive's brand new Tag Cannon. Now, for those of you who've been around with Motive for a while, you remember the original Tag and how good it was. This is a new version designed for lighter oil. Now, why don't you tell us a little bit more about the ball, Scoops? It has a halogen symmetric medium RG medium differential cord. Mm -hmm. It has the Agility SF. P reactive cover stock, which stands for Skid Flip Pearl. And uh, with that cover stock, it's got easy length mm -hmm. and super strong, fast response cover. Yeah, now even though this is a medium differential ball, which shouldn't generally change direction quickly, uh, this ball does. Uh, even though I didn't get to throw it, I got to watch all you yeah. guys throw it. And uh, this really really snaps down lane. It was a, a pleasant surprise, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, now when when I was drilling this up, I expected when I saw low differential to see it be smoother, more like yeah. a, uh, a Storm IQ uh, Tour or uh, the Brunswick uh, Magnitude. Yeah. But this ball actually had a surprising amount of down lane performance that was really snappy, and that's probably because of that cover stock. Yeah. So rather than listening to us talk about it, why don't we take it lane side and see how it's stacked up. Alright guys, here's Wayne Porter, our speed dominant player. Yeah, he's born on a modified Main Street oil pattern. Uh, apparently, is it modified with concrete on the uh, approach there? I don't know. He was he was dancing a lot when we were doing these shoots. I don't know if he yeah. was just happy to get back out bowling because <laughs> of the hiatus we had or what. But, yeah, uh, we were four weeks without an oil oil machine, and it made us delay on this ball. And I actually am glad we kind of delayed a little bit because yeah. we we were able to compare it to like the Fours SS yeah. that's coming out, yeah. and we saw two very different reactions. Yeah, and uh, pleasantly surprised with this one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, the original tag... Um, it was a, I remember watching you guys, it yeah. was a little stronger than this. Yeah, it was a, it kind of floated, but overall it was like stronger, where this one, don't get me wrong. It's still it, strong. It's strong, but that one had a, a very weird reaction. Like, it was an interesting yeah, combination. Yeah, th this one is much more angular, much yeah. more down lane. Yeah. But uh. this is what you need on a light oil, because this is, like, you can see he's playing out in the drier area, yep. and, um... Kind of, it's pin carry is amazing. Well, it's I think this one was designed in looking at uh, what Motive has been doing. Yeah, this is a ball. What, what was that? That's carry. <laughs> That's carry. Um, it was designed to give players something that was lower differential. Yeah. Um, so it's not reading super early. It's not super flaring. Yeah. That they can get a lot of reaction from yeah. down lanes. So when the lanes start to burn up, yeah, a player like EJ can stay in a la mm -hmm. an area mm -hmm. longer. longer. Yeah. You could def I could definitely say somebody like EJ playing the Forza SS and then moving into this this one to oh yeah um, keep your, his like you said everything in front of you <laughs> and burning up. But I mean that's the thing is you can watch this it just I'm playing it out like what ten five thirteen five and just letting it sit out there well, and then boom when you get it in just, into wow. the oil yeah it's smooth yeah. But when it sees friction, it definitely yeah. jumps. Oh, it likes friction. This this cover stock, you can tell that it's... and so I you're throwing it out yeah. farther here, yeah. and you can see a much stronger yeah. reaction. Yeah, and I don't prefer pearlized cover stocks, yep. but this was very forgiving for a pearlized cover stock. Now, here's Cam, uh, our rev dominant player, and he is in his, his uh, regular zone here with this. This yeah. is a ball that he could go to very easily. Yeah, and it's, once again... This was designed for somebody with a lot of hands. Yep. And a I mean, lot of speed. A lot of speed. And yep. He's like pumping in there. Like he's only playing three or four boards left to me, but it looks a lot more impressive when he's throwing it. I'll tell you. It just. Well, that's what happens well, when you actually have hand in the ball. Yeah, well, I know. 
Mr. Uh, my speed and my rev rate match. <laughs> Look at me. I can play everything in every layout. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm lucky like that. Yeah. I um, know. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but Cam is, he's, you can tell he's enjoying this ball and yep. he can, he's just letting it roll off his hand and just like that one's in. It holds it in the oil holds for him. And it still, look, the pins are going up and hitting the top of the machine. Yep. And then coming back down. That's amazing energy retention. And for having a, a three piece ball, yeah. you don't see that very often. Boy, oh, look at him dance. Look at, wow. That is an EJ yeah. kind of hit. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for another show. If you like what you saw this episode and want to find out more, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Layside Reviews or click below. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel or click on the box. Or and if you missed our last video or just want to watch it again, you can click on the other box. And don't forget you can pick up any of the jerseys you see in our videos by using this coupon code at LogoInfusion.com. So until next time, guys, we'll see you lane side.